I present to you episode two. Four artists, 10 pictures, one epic edit race. This is Double Art Angel's contribution. Hey, Double Art Angel here. Welcome to my channel. I'm back in a new studio, but you see me in this space station again. So no mech this time. Anyway, like you guys saw in the intro, this one is a special introduction to my friend and colleague's uh, Illusion Design 20s video, The Edit Race, Episode 2, that I had the privilege to be a part of. So, four artists, Illusion Design 20, Leviathan, Spirit, and Aki the Fool, plus me, had a bunch of stock pictures that we then discarded to 10 pics per person and made our own art. Now this video will be a time lapse of my contribution to the edit race. I won't put the other guys artworks in this video because you should go and check out Illusion Design 20's video for that. I put the links in the description down below. Anyway, I chose 10 pictures and still kept my original design aspect being vibrant, even though we had a theme that was called Winter Post-Apocalypse. So yeah, I will go through in a voiceover in this time lapse what I thought and what kind of techniques I used. So look forward to that. Anyway, if you like these kind of videos that I make, please like and subscribe and share with others. Follow me and um, stay tuned for more videos. And there will come one more video this week because I promised you guys two videos this week since last week was no video. The second video will be in the end of the week. Make sure to follow me also on Instagram at double underscore art angel or the Viant Art double arch angel. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this one as well and I think we should begin. Let's begin. So, uh, what I chose in the pictures was a solid background, some subjects to keep in, in the picture and uh, a surrounding area that looks post-apocalyptic. And I started to clean out the picture that I decided to use as a main frame. So right away I started to add snow from one of the stock pictures into the to my composition to make it look like a winter landscape because I was working with something that looked more or less like a desert place Uh, I I added pieces of the picture as overlays and then I used my normal technique with the gradient tool to make the picture an, a night feel. So, I added the airplane and uh, 
made the Spetsnaz a soldier, uh, American soldier, by adding American uh, gear and also checking some reference pictures and finding out that they have uh, winter gear that is almost totally white and black. So I decided to make this guy that and also change his weapon from Kalashnikov AK-47 Russian gun to a MP, M MP-15 And I did the same thing with uh, also the American soldiers, making them winter soldiers and uh, adding some scarf and stuff so they wouldn't freeze. Because back when I was in the army, I remember that this was very important to have the right kind of equipment. So, I had pretty much the idea with the flare right from the start. When I saw the picture, I was yeah, like, yeah, I'm gonna use that. And uh, I know it's a smoke bomb in the picture, but I decided to change it to a flare because then I had a light source that I could use. And here I also make these American soldiers from a desert camel into a winter kind of camel uh, with the help of one of the stock pictures that I clipped into small pieces and started to use as overlay and then uh, using using the, the layer option of color as uh, making making it look realistic. So I wanted to make a action scene and uh, I decided to put the soldiers around and this had been an ambush of some sort. Uh, one guy sniped and now these American soldiers have called for backup with the flare and uh, also have a sniper on place that is watching, is overwatch. And basically this was my idea. So after this I just added more snow, used a icicle brush to make make it look more cold in the picture. Like for real it's winter and it's really really cold. Keeping in mind all the time that the smoke grenade actually is a flare, I started to highlight and put edge lights around objects uh, in a matter of uh, w within the range of where the flare would lighten up the piece. Even though if I was realistic, it, it would like burn the piece totally, but well, 
that would ruin it. So I tried keeping it as subtle as possible. Here the icicles all in place with the overlay uh, option. Highlights I made in this piece, uh, like in in uh, order that I added added an exposure layer before I added a color above the highlights. So I didn't just use a hue and saturation layer, uh, but also a, a exposure layer. So next up, uh, the rest of the guys will give some feedback on this picture. And I highly recommend that you go to Illusion Design 20's site and I drew my link below in the description and watch the video with all the rest because they are amazing, all of them as well. comes our second artist, Double Art Angel. Bro literally aimed for the details and color depth in this composite which makes it like a movie scene. And the vibrancy colors and such unique touch to the artwork, man it's freaking fantastic. I'm amazed. Love it. Moving over to Mike and wow, fully stacked action pack scene. It is a dual tone which I didn't expect given our theme, but it works. I like how everything revolves around the flare and the highlights on the soldiers and buildings really give it life. One thing I'd just point out is the blacks and whites are a bit too extreme for my taste, otherwise I'm loving it. And then next we have Double R Angel. This piece is very nice. It's very saturated everywhere. The clarity is very nice, I like it a lot. The smoke grenade being super saturated and red as opposed to the very contrasted blueness of the rest of the picture. It's very nice, I like it a lot. And the highlights, the red highlights on the blue, especially on the soldiers and buildings, it's very nice. And again, the placement is very nice as well. And the icicles are more of a good touch, I like that. All around, it's a very good piece, I like it a lot. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 